Hello folks, I hope everybody's doing well. Well, I've been challenged. I managed to get away from this challenge for a while and um, I was joking with my friend Charlie Boca to Boyton about it and uh, then Lori B uh, challenged me to do this three pipe challenge. So here I am. I was actually enjoying some um, of the blends that um, my friend Parsimonious Piper gave me. He was my secret Santa and um, this is an overdue yabble of all the goodies that he gave me during Christmas time. He actually gave me a big samples here of um, some Milan Tobacconist Triple Crown. That's the one I'm actually smoking now. I can taste a little bit of Latakia. I haven't done the research on any of them just to see if I can blindly enjoy them and see what they are and this one's called Hillman uh, Jefferson Street he gave me a Christmas blend and he also gave me this one called Lucky 7 so far this is my favorite Lucky 7 but they all have been good at thank you again for a parsimonious piper it was definitely a nice christmas gift and um and i've been enjoying them little by little um i actually take them to drive with me at work that's how i've been trying them out and uh, this is the last one that i've been trying triple crown and i think i have nothing bad to say for any of them so so back to the challenge so the challenge was that you were supposed to name your uh your best smoker you are um, the pipe that you reach out to the most and then lastly the pipe that surprised you the most so for best smoker uh, i have a lot of pipes that are great smoker and they all have something in common i was noticing they all have thick walls from this huge barrel pipe that just smokes amazing um, the stanwall pipe it's actually filter and I've never had a bad smoke in it from Jordan at the Prairie Pipe Shop this was one of my earlier pipes actually that I bought from an artisan and it's been a great smoker called the Volcano it came with a tamper and everything and two little pipes or three little pipes here that have been amazing smoker and this poker uh, is a moonshine pipe it's a corn cob and again with nice thick walls this rat trays it's just comfortable and everything smokes well in it and last but not least this one from uh, Walker pipe company that again is a little pipe but look at those walls but the best smoker actually has always been the one that you saw me smoking in the beginning is this suge pipe this pipe from the first time I took a smoke in it, um, it just it's just been amazing. It has the thick walls, it has the shape, you know, that's so comfortable on your mouth, and just well balanced, and it just has everything of best worlds. So, for sure, hands down, this is my best smoker. I have smoked everything and anything in it, aromatics. Burleys, Latakias, you name it. No matter what I put in it, uh, it's an amazing pipe. Again, it's a Suge pipe from Japan. My best smoker. For the pipe that I reach out to most, um, I, I do a lot of my smoking while I drive, so uh, it's usually a very light pipe that I can clench and a pipe that I can just you know keep in my car, the glove compartment, or my little uh, pipe pouch. and this has been the pipe that definitely I reach out to the most. It's a pipe by John Keller. He's, a, he's an Instagram. He makes amazing custom uh, cobs. And just from the first time I bought this from him, I just, I just reach out for it the most. I just think it's gorgeous. It's very light and uh, it just works. So definitely the pipe that I reach out to the most hands down is this one by John Keller. And the pipe that surprised me the most was this one. 
because when I bought it from again Jordan and the Prairie Pipe Shop it's a Canadian pipe maker and you know he's on YouTube you can check him out um, Prairie Pipe Shop um, I bought it because it was pretty I mean this is just a gorgeous pipe with the tamper like he always does but it surprised me because it ended up being a great smoker um, I did a lot of the Christmas plants in it um, really anything that I put in this kind of volcano shaped pipe uh, just comes out uh, great it just smokes really good so definitely surprised me I bought it for the looks but it ended up being an amazing piece of work and amazing smoker so there you have it those are my three pipes um, I'm supposed to challenge three people so I'm gonna challenge uh, I was looking through the video see who hasn't done it yet uh, so cane rod piper I haven't seen you yet so I challenge you show us your your best smoker the, the pipe that reached for the most and your the pipe that surprised you the most and then for my second I choice, choose onion, 2 a.m. on the patio, onion. I haven't seen a video uh, for your three pipes, so I challenge you to make a video for everybody to see. I know you have some great, amazing pipes, so I think it'll be a great video that everybody would like to see. Um, you guys know onion, I don't know if he's gonna, he's gonna watch my video, just let him know that I challenged him. And also, if you know Kane Rod Piper, let him know that I also challenged him. And for the third choice, I thought of doing something different. Huh, what a surprise. Flat Cap doing something different. Um, I don't know if it's ever done bef this has ever been done before, but I'm gonna challenge my wife. I'm gonna challenge Lady Fire to show us what are her, her birth smoker, her pipe that she goes to the most, and and the pipe that surprised her the most. I hope she accept the challenge. I will nudge her to watch this video and maybe she'll accept the challenge and make a video on her own. So anyway, those are my three choices, guys. Um, hope you liked the video. Again, thank you to Parsimonious Piper for all your goodies that you gave me. And um, I'll see you again sometimes next week. International Pipe Smoking Week. Uh, and then the day will be Saturday, so I hope you guys join us. Um, if you've seen the video, we want you guys to participate, making a video, posting a picture uh, in one of the days, on all of the days, Mirsha Monday, uh, Cop Tuesday, uh, Church Warden Wednesday, Tamper Thursday, and Freehand Friday. I uh, hope to see all of you posting videos and just having fun this week and then Saturday is the actual day uh, we can again post videos do lives talk about it and just have fun and uh, celebrate International Pipe Smoking Day comes only once a year so let's take advantage of it until next time bye guys have a great one